Good morning, everyone. My name is David Karam, and I'm president of the Waterfront Development Corporation. I want to welcome you all to this dedication of a very special area, uh, new area in Waterfront Park. <clears throat> I want to recognize we uh, have two of our board members are here today. Rip Hatfield back there is a board member. Scott Brinkman is a board member, so we're glad to have several board members here. Let me explain to you a little bit about <clears throat> how this project came about. And you have to close your eyes and kind of imagine, because the original master plan that was done by Hargraves Associates, <clears throat> by the way, who have won every kind of national award that it's possible, including awards for this park, the plan originally was to create an earthen mound <clears throat> that you would have a pathway, <clears throat> that you'd have a pathway up to the earthen mound to get on to access the Big Four Bridge. So that earthen mound would have spread throughout this entire area. And in fact, now if you close your eyes, you're under 60 feet of soil. So as the wonderful engineers began doing geotechnical work in this area, they determined that the weight of the earthen mound could not be sustained to uh, create the pathway up to the bridge and in fact that if you built it it would probably continue to sink and so uh, you would have to as you got up to the top get a step ladder and put it up to the bridge to get access to the bridge and so uh, we abandoned that project once the geotechnical engineers uh, said that and so in essence then, there was no master plan for this area. So two things have occurred that are very important to the park. One is that um, when eliminating the earthen mound, we had to go to the ramp situation. And the thing from our perspective, in retrospect, that's so unbelievably exciting is that we're glad the earthen mound went away because what has occurred is we have gained a great deal of new space in Waterfront Park for events. And of those of you who know about the wonderful series we have called Waterfront Wednesdays, that now takes place in an area that would have been under the earthen mound. So we've gained a great deal of new space and one of the components of that is uh, obviously is the ramp, which for those of you who ever watch anything on TV anymore about the park, this ramp has become a real icon for the city. It's, uh, it's seen everywhere. And uh, the construction of this ramp, I think, was guided in great manner by a guy who's worked with us for many years, Clinton Deckard. Clinton is a young man here in the blue shirt who's been the project like that, Clinton. Do like that. Thank you. Clinton has uh, done all of the uh, project management for the Waterfront Development Corporation and really spearheaded greatly the ramp. Uh, working on all the construction of the ramp and all of this project is Don Thornberry and Willie Fulkerson. Don has been the guy who is, and Willie have been the project managers for the actual construction. So they have made, uh, that's TNC construction if anybody wants to know that, so TNC, TNC contracting, TNC contract. And if you need the phone number, Don will give you that afterwards. So that has made that possible. So once the ramp was here, since we had no plan underneath the ramp, we said uh, we needed to come in and actually do a new master plan for that area. Enter then, at that point, uh, two amazingly talented young architects, uh, Roberto De Leon and Ross Primer, who have a thing called the De Leon Primer Architecture Workshop. And these two guys came together to create the master plan for underneath this area. And the master plan has included this wonderful paver system. And if you get a chance uh, to get up on the bridge uh, after this project, walk up on the bridge and look down. These concentric circles of this paver system are really quite spectacular. And the entire new planter area along River Road, <coughs> which has really added a softness to the area and, and done in a way that really uh, blends in with the architecture of the bridge. There's also brand new lighting that takes place in this area. And then finally, to behind me is a thing we call the Kentuckiana Grove. And the Kentuckiana Grove is a um, wonderful area that we thought was important for the park to have an educational experience where 
kids could come in and adults and see indigenous tree species in the area. So that is, uh, that's kind of the overview of the project and there'll be more conversation about that from the speakers. But right now I would be pleased to introduce Ellen Hessen who represents the mayor's office, chief of staff of the mayor's office who's representing the mayor today. Because he's somewhere. <laughs> Thank you, David. Good morning. Yes, the mayor is so sorry he's not here at this exciting occasion, but he got called to the White House, so uh, sent me in his stead to, to extend his appreciation to the board, to all the lovers and supporters of Waterfront Park and the Transportation Cabinet for helping make almost, what, a quarter of a million dollars worth of improvements to what's already a very special place here. The addition of the pavers, the planters, the Kentucky Grove, it's all just adding to this wonderful experience in this wonderful park. So uh, on behalf of the mayor, I want to thank all of those who've made this happen. Thanks, Ellen, and thanks to the mayor's office, who've always been great supporters and who hype this park for us on a regular basis. We appreciate very much you being here. Ellen has been a true friend to this project uh, from the moment she came into the mayor's office, and so we're always glad to have Ellen down here. Uh, next, it's my great pleasure to introduce a young man I've known for a long period of time. As I said earlier, he is a board member of the Waterfront Development Corporation and has been a board member for quite some time. Uh, he now has moved uh, away from the private law practice into being secretary of the governor's executive cabinet. Uh, Scott Brinkman, longtime supporter. I, he and I served in the legislature together, uh, good friends, and now representing the governor's office, Scott Brinkman. David, thank you for those kind words. On behalf of Governor Bevan, it's a pleasure uh, being here at the dedication of this beautiful plaza and the accompanying grove. Uh, you know, the, the, this plaza is really a kind of a microcosm of Waterfront Park itself. I know the plaza was inspired by the vision of a private family uh, and with the leadership of uh, the Waterfront Development Corporation coupled with assistance from the public sector, we now have this as a reality that's gonna be visited regularly by hundreds of thousands of our fellow citizens. And when I say it's a microcosm of Waterfront Development, uh, the park itself, um, what decades ago was inspired by the vision of several individuals uh, in our community has literally now become the destination on a regular basis of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people in this community in this region. Uh, it's a tribute to the leadership of Waterfront Development Corporation, uh, the vision and the assistance of so many, literally thousands of people in the private sector and the assistance of the public sector. It's a true private-public partnership. And the public sector is represented by all three levels of government, federal, state, and local. All have contributed over the years to this beautiful park and this vision that exists today. And green space is important to economic development. Uh, economic development is really critical to, to our community. And we know that people uh, it, seek out green space, that green space is conducive to a healthy lifestyle. And we know that employers seek employees with healthy lifestyles. It truly is part of economic development. And this is literally a jewel, one of the, the great, great uh, urban parks in the, uh, in the entire world, not just the United States, but the entire world. And so on behalf of Governor Bevan, it's a pleasure to be here at this dedication today and to honor the vision and the work of so many individuals in our community. Thank you. I now, I now want to introduce to you, I have had mentioned already two young men who are with the architectural firm, and to just give you a few words about the vision of what caused the design to evolve as it has is Roberto De Leon from the De Leon Primer Architecture Workshop. Roberto. Thank you. Thank you all for coming today. This couldn't have been a more perfect day to be here. Um, just as David mentioned, the fact that this park, this area of the park is really based around this amazing ramp uh, and this sort of uh, convergence of, of park paths. That's really what the design was based on. Um, the design is really meant to be walked around, moved through, viewed from different vantage points above. Um, and so it's really meant to be a, a, a part of the sort of meandering, strolling park experience. So the design is really based on the fact that 
as you're walking around it, you're going to see that the forms, for example, the planters, the forms actually begin to change. Uh, as you walk um, up the ramp, you'll actually begin to see that the, the paving is actually based on um, sort of water droplets. Um, and so, again, this area of the park is really a much more activated part, and that's what the design is based on. So it's really meant to, to um, really encourage people to walk, observe, and um, experience being this close to the Ohio River. Thank you. I think it's worth mentioning that, uh, just to repeat a bit of what Scott said, this is a public-private partnership. Uh, a little more than $730,000 has been raised to make that project happen. Uh, the slightly larger component is privately donated funds, and the rest of the money came from the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet. So again, Scott, thank you for the public partnership that has made this kind of a project uh, take place. Uh, one of the components of this project that, just to mention again a bit about, is the Kentuckiana is the Kentucky Tree Grove. As again I said, behind me is this area. At, as this project was evolving, <clears throat> we were contacted by uh, uh, Terry Dillery, who is uh, the sister of Mark Wilson. And Mark had passed away. And um, Mark has quite a reputation in the community for his talents. And Terry said that they would like to do something. So one of the components of the master plan, as I said, the Kentucky Tree Grove, we said, how about joining us, Terry, helping us support the Kentucky Tree Grove and <clears throat> make those people who make donations, have those people who make donations understand that as this tree grove grows and expands, uh, they will remember that this is in, that parts of this occurred because of your all's kindness and your support. So to say a few words about this Terry Dillery. There you are. Hug. First of all, I'd like to thank David and Ashley and the team at the Waterfront Development Park. They have been fantastic, um, very supportive, and I appreciate all you've done for us in helping put this together. And um, Mark would be so happy to see all of his friends and family here. Um, at the conclusion of this ceremony, if everybody would gather Mark's friends and family over at the Tree Grove, we'll have a little dedication for him. Thank you all for coming. On behalf of our board and on behalf of the mayor's office and the governor's office and all the staff at the Waterfront Development Corporation, we thank everybody for being out here. As Terry said, uh, Reverend Katie Anderson will be uh, having uh, some prayers and uh, service for those people in the family who want to gather. Please join over by the trees that have been marked with the white ribbons, and that will be in honor of Mark Wilson. So thanks, everybody, for coming out. Hope you enjoy this great new asset to Waterfront Park. I want to thank my staff who work so hard every single day to keep this the cleanest and most beautiful park in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Thank you all for being out. This has been a Metro TV production, a public service of Louisville Metro Government.